El Comando Sur estadounidense invirtió unos 500 mil dólares en la construcción de un escenario urbano de combate. Telesur tuvo acceso exclusivo al campo militar y cuenta más nuestro colaborador en Chile, aquí presente, Raúl Núñez. The Chileans brought their F-16s and the French brought a squadron of Rafaels as well as a uh, squadron of Mirage 2000s. Terrific exercise, a great opportunity for us to represent the United States, uh, to, to come down here and to train with airmen. Numerous soldiers and civilians as Army South celebrated Chilean Independence Day. In Chile, we, we acquired a lot of experience, uh, a lot of uh, experience together. Them. It was amazing how, um, within a few minutes, how everybody was reacting together and uh, the unity was there. If anything, like I said, at this point, we're not really training them or anything like that. We're training each other. We can go through our uh, different units that scatter along, uh, along Chile, um, uh, teach our guys what we have learned over here. We have like, a whole bunch of things to work with. And, and to play with. The first Chilean officer to graduate from this school. It's really amazing, it's unbelievable when I came here, uh, it's a long way and uh, now I finished it so I'm, I'm happy. Lieutenant Oyen Gurin has just completed 61 days of one of the toughest courses a soldier can volunteer for. Task Force Tropic, commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Robert Jones of the Missouri Army National Guard, is conducting an exercise here in Honduras called Beyond the Horizon. It's abroad in a different mission, and also I have to take care about the international exercise like this. Recent staff talks between U.S. Army South and Chile. These annual bilateral meetings provide a forum for discussion, professional exchanges, and important military-to-military -military agreements. We have uh, made a lot of uh, agreements, you know, uh, which uh, allow us to have the opportunity to share our experience in the United States and in our country. So uh, it's a very important moment for us. Our delegation has a huge challenge, which is to make reality all the agreements that we have made.